Hey everyone, so this video is a highly requested video and as part of my 10,000 subscribers giveaway I received a lot of requests to do an updated video for this. So this is going to be my updated makeup collection, storage and kind of a room tour all in one. It's not going to go into great detail with my collection, I'm going to actually do a sort of like a mini series I guess where I focus on different parts of my collection. So nail polishes, perfumes, lipsticks, brushes, eyeshadows, blushes, whatever you guys want to see please comment below and I'll try to organise that so I can get those done in more detail quicker. <laughs> so that is going to be a different video to this otherwise this video would have gone for a few hours. <laughs> So I'm just keeping it as an overview to show you guys my new setup, storage, and hopefully you'll pick up some tips that will come in handy for you guys. Now for those of you who know me, you'll know I'm by no means bragging. Um, I work hard for my money and I spend it on things that I enjoy and my hobbies, which I don't have many of. <laughs> my hobbies basically include makeup, in particular nail polish, that's one thing that I really enjoy collecting, and perfume I really love collecting as well. So those are my main um, attractions to makeup. But I also have other hobbies like paintball, which is quite expensive and I don't get to do it as often as I want. Um, but also my family and my dogs, I spend my money on those as well. Uh, I don't really have any other major collections that I spend a lot of money on. The collections that I do have, I've had for a long time and are gifts from family members. So this is pretty much my passion and that's why I have a hideously large collection which no normal person would need and I understand that but I enjoy it. So hopefully you guys will get some ideas and um, if you've got any questions or anything at all please feel free to leave it below. I hope you guys enjoy! So like my last video I'm going to start from this corner of the room. It's changed a little bit but the furniture is pretty much the same. So the perfumes that I've got here, most of them are Ascada down there and then some Britney Spears and other things at the top. But they are all on a three-tiered cupcake stand. So it's got three glass shelves in it. It's nice and sturdy and um, I can fit quite a lot up there. So that's changed a little bit. Now above that I thought these would add a nice pop of colour to the room and they were in my last video. They're from Kmart, so they were $15 for the pair, which is really cheap. So they worked out to be quite a nice addition to the room. Now the drawers have changed slightly. They're the same chest of drawers, which is an Alex chest of drawers from Ikea. It's a nine drawer set, but what's inside of them is what has changed. So this top drawer is now my BPAL drawer, or Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab. Now, Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab are uh, perfume oils. So I keep them in here so they're stored in a nice, dry, cool place out of the sun. The second drawer down is where I keep my false eyelashes and um, some brush, like extra brushes that I have in the brush roll. So they're all my fake eyelashes. The following down, one down is where I keep a lot of my nail art stuff and my nail maintenance tools and things like that. So I've got my nail art, pens, my Sally Hansen Salon Effects, some stickers, uh, nail buffer, acrylic paints for nail art, some little sequins and things in there, and then more buffers and tools that I use to maintain my nails. Now the next drawer down is what I call my OPI overflow drawer. So this drawer alone is probably more nail polishes than the average person owns. But as most of you know, I'm not the average nail polish collector. I'm a little obsessed. So what I do is I rotate these with the ones that are up on my wall, depending on the season and depending on what colours I'm going for. If I find that I'm not reaching for them a lot, I will then put them aside and either give them to family, friends or end up donating them. So most of the ones in here, if I don't reach for them again and don't put them back on the wall, they will go and be donated or given to friends and family. Next, we have my bits and pieces drawer. So this drawer has basically a lot of samples that come as gift with purchases or come free when you buy other things. I've also got some soaps and other little products that I haven't had a chance to try yet. 
The next straw is my special effects straw. So everything from fake blood to liquid latex and heavy setting spray, um, even sweat and tears down here. This is basically the drawer that I will go for when I'm trying to make any kind of liquid latex prosthetics or Halloween looks or gory looks or anything of that sort. So I do go for this one in Halloween and if I do any special effects makeup. Next down we have some more nail items. So this is predominantly the things that I will use for water marbling. So I've got my painter's tape, my little glass bowls, and also these are the things that I use when I'm actually painting the nails onto my nail polish bottles. A lot of you have asked what I use, so they're just those plastic false nails, and I stick them on using a piece of blue tack. That way I can see what the colour actually looks like. In this drawer I've also got a huge bottle of drip dry drops, but I really like these and they work very well. The next drawer down are perfumes. These are the perfumes that just don't fit up on the shelf or some of my more special perfumes that I want to keep safe and tucked away. And the last drawer down, again, it's more perfumes, but they're mainly the perfumes that you get as a little sampler size or travel sizes or the free little samples you get with purchases. So then moving across, in that little black box down here, I've got all my hair tools like curling irons and things like that, or curling wands and flat irons, whatever you want to call them. I've got some green tea spray for sunburn. And in this box at the top here, it's some more of the perfumes that are either duplicates that I have. I'll try to lean this forward. Or really tall bottles that just wouldn't fit inside that chest of drawers there. Now this is where you will see the most difference to my last video. I've actually gotten rid of the big desk that I used to have and replaced it with this desk. Which is from Ikea, yet again. Nice and white with a glass top as well. Now over this side is where I keep the brushes that I tend to use the most. And my mascaras are in that one there. All my primers sit in front of that and then my little brushes and eyebrow kit. And that's a bit dirty, I just used that today so I need to wash that. Up there I've got my Jessica Simpson clip-in bangs. Now this rack of clear acrylic boxes are actually gift with purchase boxes I received um, a long time ago when I was purchasing Lancome products, but I use them now as shelving. So I've got my setting powders, my concealers, primers, um, just bits and pieces, some jumbo pencils at the very top there, and some sharpeners, as well as a spare beauty pod kind of thing over there as well. Moving across the desk, I have my designer series OPI that I like to use the most and the crackle polishes across the front. I've then got my tinted moisturizers and a BB cream and the Garnier BB cream but it's not really BB cream. Um, then I've got some MAC lip glosses, lip conditioners and there's also some lip balms across the front. Next to that are my NYX lipsticks and at the end are my MAC lipsticks. These are actually the things that I'm trying out at the moment from a brand called Essence. Um, so I'm giving them a go. I'll keep them aside so I actually tend to use them in a higher rotation and some things and bits and pieces from a glossy box as well. And so this is my wall of nail polish. It's two wall mounted acrylic stands that I picked up from a beauty supply store. You can find these at some beauty supply places, but your best bet is going to be finding them online. So yeah, that's what they look like. I really like them. I find that when my nail polishes are out like that on display, I do tend to reach for them more. Now I've got them colour coded. You don't have to be as OCD about it as I am. But on this side, I've got China Glaze, and on this side, I've got OPI. So I go kind of reds blues, purples, glitters, and darks at the top. But that is my wall of nail polish. 
Now moving above that is my shelf. So on this shelf I keep some of the perfumes. Again these are the perfumes that I reach for the most. So I like to keep them where they're easy to get to. So they are mainly perfumes and some books at the end. And then on the next shelf up I've got some candles, some more perfumes and then just some bits and bobs. So over here we've got my MAC eyeshadow palette sitting in a paper holder and then my foundations and some more brushes that I tend to use less or that they are bigger, taller, fluffier brushes. Uh, next to those I've got my lip liners. Now moving down, these are some storage items that I get a lot of questions about. These particular drawers are clear acrylic drawers from a store called Officeworks. Now Officeworks is an Australian only store, but these are just simple stationary drawers. They're A4 sized clear acrylic drawers and if you go to most stationery stores or scrapbooking stores they're going to have something that's similar to this. If you can find clear and you like the look then go ahead and get them. They don't have to be A4 size but that's just what was available at Officeworks. They still have them for those of you that are in Australia. I don't think they ship over overseas for those of you that are overseas but if you're overseas places like a stationery store or a container store or a storage store um, should have something at least similar. So I keep a lot of my makeup in here. This is mainly my makeup collection is in these drawers. So I've got eyeshadow palettes on one side, lipsticks and lip glosses on the other. Then I move down to blushes and eyeshadows and eyeliners and just a few empty drawers with some bits and pieces in it and then MAC pigments and other pigments down the bottom as well. In front you can see I've got some Lush items and also some things out of my February glossy box. So down underneath this is where I keep a lot of the stuff for my giveaways. So I keep them in these boxes um, so those boxes over there have spare things in them and down there is a lot of the stuff for my giveaways in the boxes and the train case. Then I've just got some bottled water that I use for water uh, water marbling, uh, an extra candle, some Lush stuff and some packaging. So then moving around the room, that's the door where you actually get into the room. Normally there's a big dog cage here but I took it out so I could have a bit more space. <laughs> so I've got my big winter coats hanging off the door because it's not winter here yet. <laughs> These are my lights that I use for filming when it's dark at night to uh, allow you guys to actually see what I'm doing. Then my linen press cupboards are behind there. And I've got my jewellery stand that my parents bought for me for Christmas. If you guys want to see a more detailed review of what's inside please uh, let me know, comment below. Then I've got some boxes with some bits and pieces in there to give away as well. And then we've got this stand which is also just a bookshelf I bought from Officeworks and a few of you would have seen that in my last mini room tour I guess. So the bottom shelf is essentially where I keep all my Lush. In the black tub just down below is where I keep a lot of the stuff that I'm not in a hurry to use. And this box up here which is just bought from a cheap $2 store. I think it was like $2, $3, something like that. Keeps the stuff that I want to be using up sooner. And moving up we've got more nail polish. <laughs> So I've got a lot of the BYS colours over here, um, some Australis, uh, Nicole by OPI, Essie, Sally Hansen, different types of nail polishes in general. These are colours that basically aren't OPI or China Glaze, but I still like to keep them out. And I use a lot of these for nail art. If you are going to be using nail polishes for water marbling, you may want to consider buying some cheaper nail polish brands and cheaper by comparison to China Glaze and OPI. That way you still get excellent colours but you're not using your really expensive polishes for the nail art because water marbling uses a lot of polish. 
The next shelf up is more nail polish. So this shelf has my extra china glaze on the first two racks and then my Orly colours there. I've also got my foil effects nail foils in one of the cases. Again, that was a case that came as a gift with purchase from Lancôme. My Arvo juice, some soaps and a little mini Yankee candle. And moving up to this shelf is yet again more nail polish. So this is the Muppets collection. I actually bought that from um, TVSN which is the TV shopping network here in Australia and it came with the stand so I thought I might as well make use of it. <laughs> then I've got my Yankee candles so I do rotate them around and burn whichever one I feel like burning at the time. Also for reference the nail polish stands on this shelf and this shelf I bought from a nail polish store in Canberra. Um, I think it's Capital Salon, something along those lines. But I will try to find the links and post as many down below for you guys as well. Up the top, that's just where I keep my little votive candles in this box here. And my mini OPI polishes up there as well. And then moving around is my window. So that's pretty much where I film my makeup tutorials. I film at that little table there uh, with my mirror and my clothes rack behind me. I um, actually use as a backdrop so I hang a piece of material over it most of the time anyway. Uh, that's my giveaway prize ready to be sent out and stuff that I'm actually going to be donating is in that box down there. So that's my room moving back around that that's what you see. So that is my room and my overview for my makeup collection. If you guys want to see any breakdowns sooner rather than later, please leave your requests below. If you've got any questions at all, please also leave them below or contact me. I'll be more than happy to try to help where I can. If you're looking for links on where I buy these things, please either check out my Where I Buy My Stuff video. That link will be below. And I will also include as many links as possible below so you guys can check out where I buy my stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you picked up some tips on how to store your own collection. Again, if you've got any requests, please feel free to leave them below and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye!